group of daddy drivers to ever whirl their wheels in the wacky races. Competing for the title of the world's wackiest racer. The cars are approaching the starting line. First is the Pizza Fire Van, driven by Donatello and the Catwoman of Channel 6. Next is the Battle Cycle, driven by Raphael and Abra O'Neill, recording it all. Ecto-1, driven by the Ghostbusters. TMT Party Wagon, driven by Movie Donatello and Pizza Toss and Mikey as well. And away they go on the way out wacky races. <laughs> Ahoy, ahoy! And by that I mean cowbunga, my dudes. <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, Mutant Mayhem again. Still not a fan of the designs. The film doesn't look like it's going to be any good. But who knows? We'll see. But I am liking a lot of the figures. And who doesn't love to see another turtle van? It says Pizza Fire van. On time delivery guaranteed. But, you know, it's the party wagon. And a new form. I like the big pizza slice. I like that it launches stuff and the door comes out. So we're going to have a lot of fun here. Bear with me. Rawr. What I don't like is... There's a lot of sound in there. So I hope there isn't much to put together. And then the stickers. Oh <laughs> boy. Yeah. I hope it's like the Party Van reissue where the stickers were nicely already on there. Just to show what it includes. So there we go. There are, is also an RC one. That I just discovered, I'm like, what? We also have this. If anyone wants to see some cool desktop team and T pinball action. Our Rugrats one did well. No? Not right now? Well, let's know in the comments below. Because otherwise, uh, back to the Mutant Mayhem van. There's the sticker sheet for all the stickers. I like the pizzas. You got interesting headlights and colors and stuff and pepperonis and pizza rules, extra cheese, pizza time. Mikey doesn't look too bad. But I'm really not a big fan of these stickers. This side right here. I get I guess you want to have like a bunch of pizza stacked up, but I don't know. So I think I'm going to like bypass the ones that go to Windows because you know how that stuff sucks and I don't want to be with the rage. But maybe you like the pizza rules and extra cheese and some of these little things there. And uh, I think I'm going to make my own custom ones to stick on there. So at some point we'll have a video to show this with the custom stickers. So stay tuned for that in the coming months. <laughs> Now that's a nice a slice of pizza. Mm -mm, yum, 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 yum. Yay, more yummy pizzas. And remember not to feed it to uh, people or dogs. Or I guess any animals, I guess. You probably can't see. But ours has some white, had a white powdery substance on our front there. Oh boy. <laughs> Just putting this on there in case something happens to me, because when I blew it off, I inhaled some of it by accident, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah! After a few... On some of this... Oh, and some stickers are already on here, by the way, so that was nice. Uh, we got it. We got it together. It looks pretty neat so far. The assembly wasn't too bad. It was just... This was hard. And I feel like... The wheels were okay, but I feel like... I messed up a wheel or something. I don't know. It looks cool. Turtle power. Here's the inside. Even the steering wheel moves. There's the little front of the car. So there's everything with the stickers I'm going to have so far. There they are there. The pizza stickers. You saw the launchers. And then... And then... Press down on pizza. Which causes this bad boy to just come on out. So that's neat, and then we'll launch some pizzas. That moves too. Cowabunga. One last time to look at the mechanism. Yeah, you push. And there it is. Might as well, there's the interior. 
and then you can see through in there, which is nice. And this opens up too. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can fit stuff in there. Let's get some. Let's uh, look at this, and then we'll have some comparisons, some fun with other turtle vans, and maybe some Ghostbusters. Now I know you're supposed to use the new figures for there, but. I was happy to see because I know, like, I feel like maybe the NECA and some of the others might not be able to fit in there. So I thought I'd try out first the best action ones since they're kind of a little bit of a smaller scale. And uh, Donnie, street style, Donnie fits in there pretty nicely. I even got his hand, but then <laughs> for this, I just want to, I think it looks good right here. It makes it look like he's on the wheel and he's turning some knobs there or something. But yeah, he fits in there very nicely. So, these little tinier turtles can work in here nice enough to use, and yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. Hey, Donnie. Here's the two, the new one, the original, well, the reissue of the original. The other one we had downstairs, it's a little bust, but... Compare them side by side, show them what the original party wagon did with the front. Here's some turtles inside that we were playing with that fit. They'll drop the little bombs, the thing shoots out. Because that's so the turtle can be on there. And here's the Ecto-1. Show it as, there's a little seat where you can ride on. Always oh, so cool, the door opens. And you have a little hatch in the back that opens up just like on the new turtle van and everything else. And then back there they have the little claw with the little ghost buddy in there. And just showing off the comparisons for some fun with the new and the old. And uh, let's just put the pizzas in, launch this, and Leo, have at it. Alabunga! Do it again. No. Alright, Rodan. Here comes Rodan! Hey, what's happening here? Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. You hit me! Here comes our man. I guarantee! Don't you pull anything funny, flyboy? What do you mean? Wow! Huh? Two at one blow! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> it bounced up at me. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, boss. I don't like this at all. Why am I here? Sizzling. <laughs> In the crotch! In the crotch, Leo! In the crotch, Leo! He did it! I didn't see it. Yeah, right there! Right there in their shared crotch! So what are you thinking of it? I think it's fun. <laughs> it's actually cooler than, you, than I originally thought. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Alright, Leo. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, launch pizzas into the trooper's heart, the little part in his chest, and blow him to bits. Guys, indestructible! Holy cow! Pizza pie! Well, what are we gonna do? You know what? I think I have an idea. Oh crap, they got me! Mm, at least we got a pizza to eat. Yeah, delicious. Ugh. Can I have that? Hey, you know, that looks pretty tasty to me. So just hold it firmly, and I'll show you how to do some uh, uh, ghost busting, and maybe some other busting later. Oh my! It's hard to watch this driving movie. Meow, shut up! Keep going. Yeah, it's 
Yeah. Wow, now this is cinema. And yes, this is very cheap, light feeling. So this is definitely a toy. So don't think it's going to be something <laughs> that you could want to rough and tough too much because it'll probably break. Because it's light, it's flimsy, the doors, I, I was worried when punching this in. So this is definitely a toy, not like some collectible thing there. So try to take some good care of it when you're having your adult fun. And that is that. Dust my hands off of that. No. It's a pretty cool vehicle. I had fun with all these. And you can see the little motorbike here. We'll do that one next. Have some fun with it. Maybe some more wacky races, shenanigans. But it was fun getting all the vehicles again. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe. See you next time. What are your thoughts?